on the title race, Yanish? Well, I'm still thinking about Manchester City. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm going to jump uh, maybe and talk about Liverpool because they're Who's challenger though. Uh, I, I think it's Liverpool because the potential is unbelievable. They, uh, you know, if I'm Jurgen Klopp, I got to be look, I got to be looking around and say, there's still, there's still four or five key players that are nowhere near their peak, and look where they are right now. I mean, nowhere near. You saw that bench even in the last game, uh, in a game that others have struggled. You know, especially when you go away, you look at Brentford, you look at, uh, you know, a teams that play with three, five in the back. They kind of know how to play against big teams, and yet it looked easy. And I look at uh, our players like Luis Diaz, who obviously, because the family situation, his head can't be right. But even before that, he wasn't he wasn't just right. You look at Gakpo, that continues to try to fight for himself and find a position for himself. You look at Darwin Nunez, who, by the way, maybe had the best game as a Liverpool player, even though you know scoring wasn't you know there's still chances not being put away. But I thought it was it was just there or thereabout. You look at Jota, who's been absolutely outstanding. I don't even want to. I don't even want to mention Mo Salah because he does what he does. That midfield still not settled. But you look at Van Dijk, who's massive. I mean, this is the form that we've seen when they've challenged. And here we are. The reason why I say that they're the biggest challengers because they're the only ones that truly know how to challenge Manchester City. That is important. We can talk about Chelsea. Obviously, they're gonna not going to be fighting Manchester United. As bad as they've been, they're there or thereabout, but certainly nowhere near able to challenge Manchester City. But see, even if they were, we'd still be talking about the same thing. And, and the fact of the matter is that Jurgen Klopp, the Liverpool, a lot of key players still understand what it is recently to run them close and then beat them as well. And I think that, to me, is just as important as anything else. So that's why Liverpool, given what I see right now, and I don't think that this is a Liverpool of all just yet, but I think the potential is unmatched when it comes to the rest of the league in terms of challenging Manchester City. What do you think, Mark? Yeah, I agree. And I mean, obviously, the next game is Man City-Liverpool at the Etihad mm-hmm. after the international break. And that, that's massive. It's always a massive game. But I think with it being so tight at the top, I think Liverpool have got a real chance to, to lay a marker down there and show that they are in the title race this season. I mean, everything that Yanis has mentioned, but also let's not forget that Jurgen Klopp has totally rebuilt his midfield this year. In the last six months, he's, he's brought in McAllister, he's brought in Gravenberg, he's brought in Shavoshlai, and it's just transformed the team. They've just got more energy, more the more front foot, and obviously with, you know that Salah's going to score goals, they've got goals all over the pitch. They are a team that, in any normal season, without a great team like Man City, would be the strong title favourites. And I think... They have the edge over Arsenal because Arsenal don't have a reliable goal scorer. You know, Eddie and Ketty and Gabriel Jesus aren't title winning goal scorers. They're not they're not the sort of strikers that a team needs to win a title. And Arsenal know that. They they know what it takes. They've had people like Thierry Henry, they've had Nicholas and Elka, great goal scorers. Gabriel Jesus and Eddie and Ketty are not in the same league. And I think they're both very good understudy strikers, second choice strikers, which is what Gabriel Jesus was at Man City. And Ketty's always been that at Arsenal. So unless they can resolve that situation in January and I'm not sure they can with the financial restrictions and Arsenal I think are going to struggle to finish in the top two but if they get a centre forward who can score goals then that would throw them right back in it if it's still close but for me Liverpool all the way the strongest title contenders this season.